Hi, it's Brian Johns from the University of Iowa. Today I'll be doing some engine turning on the PCNC770 from Tormach. Engine turning is also known as juuling or damascening, which is basically just a swirl pattern that adds some aesthetics to your surface finish. Let's get started. I purchased two different types of engine turning tools from Brownells online. The first tool uses these small little brushes. The tool holder is actually spring loaded here so you don't have to be very exact in your Z offset and the piece doesn't have to be exactly flat either. So how this works is you take a brush and you put some heat shrink tubing over the top, heat that up and then put an O-ring just around the tip. This prohibits the brush from fanning out as you put some pressure down on your material. The second type of tool that you can use uses these little abrasive sticks and the abrasive sticks fit in this collar and you just hang a little bit of the abrasive stick out. The bad part about this tool is it's not spring loaded. You also cover your part with a little bit of abrasive compound. This is 120 grit silicon carbide compound here and that will produce a good surface finish. I've sanded the surface down to a thousand grit. I've tried engine turning directly after machining and if you look carefully at the result you can still see the machining lines. For a more interesting surface finish I'm going to try to apply this sticker as a mask to the engine turning process. I've covered the part in abrasive compound. Since this engine turning procedure is much like a drilling cycle we can use the G82 command which is a can drilling cycle with a dwell time. Here there is a P value of 0.7 seconds. This means at the bottom of each drilling cycle it will pause for 0.7 seconds. I have also incorporated the G91 command which means incremental programming. So each time it steps over by half the width of the tool. Lastly I've incorporated the L command. The L command indicates a loop so this line will be repeated 64 times to complete the cycle all the way across the part. The last step is to remove the remnants of the sticker.